Now this is uh, a serotic fluid. And we stage. As you can see that the outer surface is mildly irregular, the echogenicity is raised and you can see the coarseness of the liver. This is the right diaphragm. This patient has been referred to rule out the cause of uh, right hypochondrium pain relating to the back uh, for the last one week as she has had, she had uh, cholecystectomy two years back. So gall bladder has been removed surgically. Now this is the region of the porta hepatis where we are seeing uh, two vessels moving together and this is what is called the double barrel sign and double barrel sign means that whenever the uh, common bile duct is dilated it, it gives the appearance of a double barrel sign as you see in a double barrel gun now this is the photo vein this is the common bile duct and in the center this tiny cystic area is the hepatic artery in transfer section. Now you see that uh, the CBD measures approximately 12.6 millimeters. This is the CBD and it measures 12.6. Normal should not exceed 9 millimeters without gallbladder. Now as the gallbladder is absent because without being surgically removed, the maximum that we can give to the uh, margin we can give is 9 millimeters. But this is 12.6 12, uh, 12 millimeters with no debris, no calculus uh, seen. The wall of the common bile is thin, neat, linear, and this is the portal vein. This one. This is the portal vein. This makes the portal trial as well which contains uh, the portrovein, uh, sorry, the portrovein, the hepatic artery and the common bile So, in this patient, the CBD is dilated and there is minimal proximal degree of intrahepatic bile ectasia in these vessels that you are seeing in this region. From here to here, I suggest you all my proximal level intrahepatic bioductectasia dilation of the intrahepatic bioducts now if I trace this uh, in, uh, uh, sorry the bioduct common bioduct from here into the epigastric region
dividing them. This is the this area that I have encircled is the head of the pancreas in longitudinal section. So this is the case of uh, obstructive jaundice of uh, so far appears to be of the B9 cause with early stage aortic labor. Now let's see the pancreas. It's very really important to see the pancreas if there is any. Uh, now one thing more that the common bioduct is clear of any debris, any uh, scalpulus or focalian, all the thin and regular. And now patient is in supine fist, posture, initial, uh, the initial segment was with patient in left pectoral decubitus posture. This is the pancreas with pancreatic depth. So all is well regarding the pancreas. This is the head, this is the body of the pancreas. In the center, you are seeing the depth of the pancreas, which is not directly it measures 1.2 millimeters. And uh, this is the supinic vein. Supinic vein, the landmark for the identification of pancreas. This is the superior mesenteric vein. This is the superior mesenteric artery in transfer section with epigenic border. This is the aorta in transfer section. And this is the IBC in transfer section. So all, there is no focal in uh, seen relating to the pancreas. The pancreatic epigenicity is normal. And uh, the, there are no calcifications. No significant finding relating to the pancreas. So the pancreas is clear. At times there are porta hepatic region lymph nodes that give pressure and may lead to obstructive jaundice. Whereas in this case, there, uh, this is the area where possibly the lymph node would have been present and there are no lymph nodes in this location. This we are seeing is the portal vein. And this is the head of the pancreas in long intervenal section. This is the portal of the liver in long intervenal section. Let's see the periotic region. Now this is the periotic plant. This is the aorta. This is the mesenteric artery rising from it. This is the axis. No lymph nodes seen in this location. So, this is a case of, now you see there is mild intrahepatic bile duct area. This is the left uh, posterior, this horizontal branch from the ascending portion of the left portal vein in the left lobe of the liver, which we are seeing is uh, appearing double. One, two. So, yeah, there is some evidence of bile duct Acacia in the left lobe of the liver as well. So this is the case of dilated bile with on ultrasound, no and very early stage uh, intrahepatic bile acacia with no evidence of any pathology seen in the gallbladder whereas the uh, sorry in the CBD as gallbladder is removed surgically. So this is the double barrel sign of dilated common bile duct and should be kept in this one. The portal in CBD.